An American citizen and two of his associate entities have filed a class action suit in the United States of America against the People's Republic of China, including its government, its official military, the People's Liberation Army, its major general, the Wuhan Institute of Virology and its director. They all are impleted jointly and severally as joint tort feasors. The lawsuit alleges that the defendants released COVID-19 virus from an illegal bioweapons facility in Wuhan. The lawsuit filed in a district court of Texas, USA, claims punitive damages in excess of 20 trillion US dollars on account of these Chinese defendants having aided, conspired, abetted the risk of death, serious bodily injuries to United States citizens, having provided material support to terrorists and having been negligent, causing wrongful death, assault and battery. The lawsuit further alleges that all these acts and omissions on the part of the Chinese defendants have caused severe economic crisis in the United States. Now the suit has been preferred on the basis of two sets of laws, national and international laws. So primarily the suit rests on these two streams of laws. Under domestic law, principally it invokes the, the Justice Against Sponsors of Terrorism Act, in short, JASTA. And the JASTA being an exception to the Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act, perhaps that's why it has been invoked. Whereas under the international laws, which is the primary resting, it invokes two treaties. First, Convention on the Prohibition of the Development, Production and Stockpiling of uh, Biological and Toxin Weapons and on their destruction, in short known as Biological Weapons Convention, as acceded to uh, and ratified by China in 1984. As a member of uh, the treaty, China has legally agreed under international law uh, that the manufacture, stockpiling or deployment of biological weapons are outlawed and illegal, like all other member states of that convention. The allegations on facts being that China and its agencies are responsible for creation and release, whether accidental or otherwise, of COVID-19 virus. It is alleged that this is a biological weapon which has been released recklessly or otherwise in violation of China's obligation under international treaties. From the Institute of Virology into the city of Wuhan. So there is no mention of uh, violation of American laws. Asserting that biological weapons have been outlawed, uh, outlawed since at least 1925. Damages have been sought uh, from China for allegedly releasing COVID-19. Major General Chen V of China's uh, PLA, at the PLA's Academy of Military Medical Sciences, is the Chinese military top epidemiologist and virologist who has led the creation of COVID-19 coronavirus as a bioweapon for China's military. That's what this lawsuit alleges. The lawsuit claims that COVID-19 was designed by China to be a very effective and catastrophic biological wo uh, warfare weapon to kill mass populations. Sweeping allegation in the lawsuit. My opinion is that the lawsuit is not only devoid of merits, but also lacks jurisdiction. On, on merits, the lawsuit merely relies on some press reports and weblings, and there is no credible evidence attached with the lawsuit whatsoever to prove about the COVID-19 being a biological uh, weapon, much less the involvement of the Chinese authorities in, in its production or in, in its spread. The claim does not have any substantive evidence at all. How and why the lawsuit lacks jurisdiction is that 
Article 6 of the Biological Weapons Convention, which is basically the successor of the Geneva Protocol of 1925, which it, the lawsuit refers to, categorically bars the jurisdiction of national domestic courts. It provides that any state party to this convention, which finds that any other state party is acting in breach of obligations under the, the convention, may lodge a complaint with the Security Council of the United Nations, along with possible evidence confirming its validity and seeking investigation thereof. So, private parties have no role except approaching their own respective governments to take further action, a further course of action. Private parties cannot assume role of the member states, of the sovereign. No, they cannot. Hence, according to me, this class action through a lawsuit in the United States is absolutely unqualified, ineligible to be entertained. Whether COVID-19 is a biological weapon or not is not a matter of domestic adjudication, but at the most, an independent in international investigation matter and that too to be conducted by the UN Security Council. Obviously, if, Republic, if People's Republic of China so cooperates.